And Giselle, um, she was with the family. I don't know what she is doing right now. Sabrina, her sister, doesn't know where she is. We do. We found Giselle McNeil, the adopted daughter of Dr. McNeil and Michelle, and she joins us now. Uh, thanks so much for joining us, Giselle. We, we're glad we're able to find you. Did you know that your own sister didn't know where you were, Sabrina? Yes, I did. She, they, I haven't spoke to them for a while. Um, since I came back from Ukraine, all I've been talking to one of my um, adopted uh, aunts, and that was Linda Club. That's who I've been with and talked to her. I don't know if she told anybody else about my um, situation to them, but I haven't talked to them since I came back from Ukraine. Okay, so let's let's go back in time if if we can, Giselle, because. We're okay. trying to get a, a picture of what life was like inside that McNeil home. You're a young girl. You get there when you're, what, 12 years old? What's, yes. the, what's the atmosphere like inside that home? Is it, is it a fun, happy place? It was more as happy but miserable at the same time because I was more of a slave girl that always clean up, always getting in trouble, always doing something and I'm one of the girls that always was part not part of the family I was part of the side girl how about uh, Dr. McNeil I, I guess you don't consider him your father anymore do you no no I okay. don't okay so I'll just call him Dr. McNeil what what was he like was was he a guy who took time to help acclimate you to this country to help you with schoolwork. What was his role inside that house as it related to you? With me, how I felt in the home, it was more uh, weird feelings. When I came in, was first adopted, I felt like I was loved for a couple months. But then afterwards, I was like more as a troubled girl. And so it was more as like, I felt weird about the whole family. So that's what happened, and I just decided to back off a little more because they never wanted to be around me. That's how I, I, seemed, I looked at it. Anything weird or uncomfortable ever happen when you're with Dr. McNeil? Yes. Um, when we lived in Orem House, and there was a living room and a kitchen, so it was like in the living room, we're all sitting together, Michelle, me, and, you know, Martin, and I can't remember who else were around, but like, I don't know what happened, but he was uh, touching me in weird places. Like he was just really weird about things with me. So I started backing off. I, I left downstairs to my room. And so um, I just felt weird after that day when he started like acting really weird towards me. Did you, did you tell anyone else in the house about what was going on? And, and yeah. I, I told Michelle once that happened, but he, you know, she said, um, we can't have this happen. You know, he said that you can't actually have this conversation with him. He's under stress right now with some other things. So I don't know if she brought that up with him or not, but I told Michelle about it. And what was, what was like, how did that family function? There's a lot of children. There's some adult children as well. But how did the family function? Like, what was Dr. McNeil's role versus Michelle's role versus the children and the adopted children and little Ada? What what was the dynamic and who was doing what and who's in charge of the whole thing? Uh, pretty much, Martin was the one that was leading everybody. He was the one that was trying to, okay, if you're not going to do it, you're going to have punishment. So he was the one that tries to lead the home and all the rules is under him. So Michelle had nothing to say about any rules. Uh, about us, we, all the adopted kids were more afraid of him than a, uh, uh, of his biological kids so because they were more as um, active they were older so they could do whatever but with us we were more as afraid of him than Michelle all right I've got a lot more to talk to you about but just to kind of encapsulate it all could, could you just give me one word to describe what life was like for you inside the McNeil